What is something you can easily transport and remains on the healthy side without sacrificing taste? Well, Jennifer has a suggestion in today's Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment. Thank you, Mark. Well, what is popular this time of year? Apples. So today we're bringing you a recipe that uses the harvest from the season and still gives your sweet tooth a bit of a treat. We found this recipe after searching online for healthy tailgating recipes. Hmm. And today we're going to make caramel toffee dip. Are those apples Excited? from suitors? No, those these apples are suitors. from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> They're from Walmart. They're probably suitors would be much better. Else. We would love to have suitors apples. So let's get to work get on handy. our Is things. If you can slice it, yeah. if you want to start getting the ingredients, very simple. Oh, good job. That was great. Ah. All right, well, we have our sliced apples, but now we myself. need our dip. What's our first ingredient? Our first ingredient is a half a cup of Greek yogurt. So we have Greek yogurt here. Half you want cup. to fill up half a cup and put it in the bowl. Everything can just get mixed in this bowl. While you're doing that, oh, this is messy. why don't you take your favorite ingredient sour cream. Oh, it's so disgusting. And actually, you know what? That. I'm gonna, I'm, sour cream is excellent. You're not touching the sour cream. Take the, Thank you. Can here. I have a dip without the sour cream? Here, brown sugar. Thank you. One third cup brown sugar. All right, did you, oh, not quite. Not okay. quite, there we go. Got it? Wow. I love okay. these things. This is really this messy. measuring device. Okay, so possibly when you do this at home, you don't want to do this on your nice Oops. tablecloths because or maybe you want a different kind of spoon. I didn't give it's you kinda hard. Good spoon. I guess you, I could have used this, right? Did you freeze this brown sugar? Well, I did actually have it in the refrigerator with the rest of the um, rest of the ingredients. First thing to learn, don't put your brown sugar in the refrigerator <laughs> if you want it to work easily. Okay. Okay, so we got we, half a cup of yogurt here. Half a cup of yogurt. All right, you can go ahead and put that in and then reset it that reset that for another half cup and you're going to do a half cup of sour cream. I just want to mention that a lot of sour cream has a bunch of junk ingredients in it. So you sure want to purchase the kind that in fact, all sour doesn't. Cream is junk. This particular one <laughs> just is cream. And That's cream what we're making, right? Ah, oh, I lost my apple. <laughs> that is an interesting uh, way to pack your brown sugar, Andy. Okay, once oh, you. Okay. It's gone. Third a cup brown sugar needs to go in with I'm the sure yogurt, please. The consistency thank of the you, sour cream. Thank you for being is, serious. It's like hard Matt. sand. Yeah, I'm just something. trying to follow We're instructions. We're getting something done here yeah. thanks to, to Matt being here. All right. I'm That's dealing half with cup like of sour cream mixed with the yogurt. Okay, next, three fourths teaspoon vanilla extract. Which one is this? That's your vanilla extract. <laughs> it's a hard piece of sugar. <laughs> you know. Which I one's three quarter teaspoon? Well, there really isn't a three quarter uh, teaspoon. One. So okay. you'll have to figure that one out. All right. Okay, and then Andy, we're gonna need five. <laughs> you have a hundred teaspoons. And one that's of them's the eye. eye. That's the eye test. We have five five tablespoons of toffee bits. What is toffee exactly? Here you go, Andy. Oh, I have to use measuring? No, here. Yeah. So our idea behind this was to create something that is Table relatively spoon, right? healthy, <laughs> easily portable. Do you have a napkin, Jennifer? Doesn't the yogurt take or is that the sour time. cream? Doesn't it's the uh, sour cream. We're cooking no napkins here. <laughs> if you'd like to donate to the Faith and Friends yeah. Kitchen you wanna organization, you want to lick that? Yeah. provide some of your <laughs> so things that you have in your kitchen, then that might help us out. Okay, right. guys, then mix we're doing this well up. Right now. Mix, mix it all up. You might want to use the spoon for that. So what is toffee exactly? Sugar, palm oil, this dairy like a, butter. a rock of sugar here. Almonds. Did you know almonds were in this? I did not know I almonds. Either. Almonds were in I guess if you have a nut allergy, this is not something that would be for you. Yeah, so we put together tough. very simple <laughs> ingredients. In Greek yogurt, sour cream, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and toffee bits. So did you guys, did you do five? Five tablespoons of toffee bits? Oh, five of them? No, oh, nah. Andy just did one. I did one. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, five <laughs> tablespoons of toffee bits. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that looks terrible. I'm sorry. No one donated it, so I can say that. <laughs> the sugar's almost done breaking up here. You know what this makes me do, Jennifer? It makes me eat an apple without makes the you dip. <laughs> well. So, mission accomplished. I'm eating healthy. So this is a dip you can create very quickly. As you can see, it should be very easy. Wow. The brown sugar is supposed to have it give more of a caramelized taste. A lot of these dips require uh, cream cheese, but because we didn't go that route, the intent is that it's supposed to be a little bit healthier for you. And because it is a tailgating idea, stick it in a bowl, put a lid on it, put it in the cooler, and take it along with you to one of those football games. All right, guys, are you ready to try it out? I'm making my own. All right. Now, the final thing, it says you're supposed to drizzle 
one more tablespoon of toffee bits on top so you have a nice visual Is this the look. consistency we're looking for here? I really don't want to waste the toffee bits. I feel like this is, it, it could need some more mixing. How much time we got left in this food segment? Well, <laughs> you know what? If you try this at home, then you can... Uh, then, Show us what we did wrong. Then you can let, yeah, let us know how it works out for you. And maybe you put your little variations in it and made it your own personal thing. Are you going to try it? Yeah, I'll Don't give forget, it a try. you can rewatch you. this and Good all of our recipe segments online at WTLW.com. <laughs> Just click on Faith and Friends. We also want your food suggestions. We do. We do. We want your recipe ideas. Keep in mind that Andy does not like sour cream, so we want lots of sour cream <laughs> recipes. Um, we have a lot of fun. No, you also have no. to remember that it, we only have about seven minutes to do our recipes before we try them out. I'm just eating oh. straight brown sugar over that. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. That is, that is good. You know I'm pretty picky. All right, Andy. We'll keep it. This is pretty good. It's all for you guys. Mmm. The toffee gives it a little bit of a crunch. I got some, yeah. I Taste that it, sugar. I give it a <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> All right, well, as we, as we enjoy our sweet treat, Zach Bowers has something else sweet to discuss. He's with Bill Harris as they talk about the sweet spot of God's will.